everybody. Good evening. Just gonna finish getting set up real quick so I can see you guys' comments as you come in. As you come in, if you would say hello, I would greatly appreciate that. Facebook is loving comments lately. Not so much the thumbs up or likes, which I appreciate because it lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing, but they tend to share my video more whenever you guys are um, commenting. So as you come in, please say hello. Let me know you're here. My name is Nikki Godwin. I'm a master mentor with Chalk Couture, and tonight we're gonna chalk up a cute little design with bees. I love honeybees. So I am gonna be using our new pillar and base right here and it comes separated. It has a little pin right here, and it's got the hole that you can put the pin through, and then you can either do our board and base this way, or you can do it this way, and just insert the pin, and it'll hold it sturdy for you. But tonight, we're gonna be using it vertically, or horizontally. <laughs> Y'all, bear with me, Lord help me. All right, so all the products I'm gonna use tonight are from Chalk Couture. You can find those on my website and that is bythelakewithnikki.com. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna use what we have in our new catalog called Chalk Stories. And that's where we have several different size um, transfers and they all kind of go together so you can pick which ones you want to use and you can mix and match them any way you want and there are um, it's a, tells you a little bit of the chalks um, about the chalk stories on the front of the transfers and on the back of the transfers is our resellable package and you can um, you can keep this package and store your transfers and that allows you to um, be able to keep them nice and neat on the back of all of our transfers it tells you how to peel apply remove clean dry and store your transfers so I'm going to just take this out of here now if you go back in one of my very first lives um, I think that was a little over a year ago I did um, we had another transfer way back when that since retired and it had bees on it and I absolutely love 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 bees and I did a couple of our bees on these little tin pots and this has been on here for over a year so I'm going to since we've got a bunch of new um, bee stuff I'm gonna be adding to that and do these um, do a little design and I'm gonna display it on my mantle and my fireplace so that's what I'm working on tonight so I'm just going to get my scissors and I'm gonna start to cut this apart I'm hoping that I can fit, it's going to be a tight fit, but I think I can get this sweeter than honey into this little bitty frame right here. So I'm just going to cut this apart. Now, all of our transfers are a textile, so they are fabric. They all come on a reusable backer sheet. This side is matte. That's the side you don't want your transfer on. There is a shiny side, and that's the, sign that, uh, the side that you can store your transfers on. And you can just put them back on there. And that's what I'm going to be um, doing. I'm going to save this because I have several projects that I want to use. So I've got the cute little beehive down here. And then I've got a couple of cute little bees that I'm also going to try to add on to this little pillar frame that I've got right here. This is another one of the chalk stories that goes with the honeybees. And this is a C size transfer. This transfer is about $24.99. Again, you can find this on my website at bythelakewithnikki.com. And it has um, a reef. It's got a couple of cute little things you can use here. Um, the honeycombs. The little honey wand and the honey pot so I'll be using that on a larger frame because I'm gonna do like I said I'm gonna do a whole design for my fireplace mantle so when you first get your transfers they are brand new everywhere that is green is adhesive so you want to make sure before you apply that to this reusable surface 
that you pick up a little bit of lint. So as you pick up or pull your transfer off, I just kind of pull it here from the side. You're gonna want to pull this and remove it from the, um, the backer sheet and you're gonna go from left to right or top to bottom, never corner to corner because it will stretch the fabric. And then you wanna be, just lift it straight up. You don't wanna curl it back because it does tend to curl the transfer when you do that. So you're just lifting straight up and that kind of keeps the transfer from curling. Like I said, I'm gonna save this to store that transfer on. Now I'm just going to fuzz it. And when I say fuzz it, all, we're, all we mean by that is we're gonna lay it on a towel and just pick up a little bit of lint that is on the back of that adhesive, just so that when we raise that up, it doesn't stick to the board so hard that it, um, that it will stretch your transfer when you try to remove it. So you're just putting a fine layer of lint on it and that comes off in the water when you clean it anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. Let me turn this sideways. Hey Mary, hey Devonna, hey Melanie. Melanie, I can't wait to meet you tomorrow. Melanie is gonna be coming to my workshop tomorrow. I'm so excited, I can't wait for her to try this. If you're in the Jacksonville area and you want to come to one of my workshops, just comment workshop in the comments and I'll send you that information. Usually you can find that and so much more in my VIP group. A lot of great stuff happens in my VIP group. So if you're interested in joining that, just comment VIP and I'll be glad to send you that link. So, I am going to, I think I've got this fuzz pretty, pretty decent here. So we're going to see if I can get this placed here. I'm going to try to place this as far down as I can because I do want to add a couple of little accents up at the top. I just love those little honeybees right there. So I'm, because this transfer you can kind of see through it. I mean, there's the clear area here that looks clear to you guys, but it actually has a silk screen on it. So I'm just going to try and put this and center it on this board down at the bottom. Hopefully it won't give me as much as a fit as my last live did. And by the way, Devonna, I took your advice and I redid that board and I flipped it over on top. Hey, Linda. I flipped that board over on top of the back of that transfer and it worked beautifully. Great idea. I will for sure tell people that from now on. It was so much easier to line that up. I love it when you guys comment on my lives and share things because sometimes you're so involved with it that you don't really pick up things and you don't think about it until after and when you guys are commenting and you're telling me a color to use or hey Nikki try this it really does you know help out a lot so and I really do appreciate that sometimes you're just too too close to the mirror to see your face I need to move that up a little bit I got the H onto the wood hey Linda how are you feeling from your surgery Hopefully you're feeling better, girl. It did work. I'll show you that board. I redid it, and it worked beautifully. Hold on, let me grab it. Look at how well that turned out. Absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this gold shimmer paste. This um, jar of paste, all of our paste come in these three ounce jars. And that gold paste is well worth the $17.99, I'm telling you. All right, so now that I've got this on here, I'm going to turn this around, make sure that I've got the bottom of the H all the way down at the bottom of this board. And I'm probably going to have to do that this way and work this way. And I'm just going to do... I don't know, what do you think? I can either do the words 
Oh, I'm sorry, Linda. I hope you get better soon. All right, so I'm going to do this. I've got a couple of different yellows out here. Hey, Michelle. And then I've got some white. Now, I am typically not a color girl. I do things in white. I do them in black. I tend to be very, um, very modest in my decor. Um, I do a lot of neutrals. So I have a tendency to use a lot of white. Color is not my thing. So I'm trying to branch out a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do Sweeter Than Honey in white. And then I'm going to do the honeycomb and the bees in the yellow. What do you guys think? Give me some hearts or some thumbs up if you're liking that. Oh, right, Michelle? It's just so much easier. I just think white looks so classic. All right. I know everybody's going to be commenting on this going, Nikki, you've got your design upside down. I know. It's upside down right now for a reason. I got to get the H done. So all I'm doing is loading this squeegee. And this is a soft silicone squeegee. They're designed so that you can drag them across the transfer and not rip that silk screen. So I'm going to use our small squeegee. Fits perfectly into my three ounce jar. Now when you put your paste on here, this is a water soluble paste. So it's going to go on wet and it's going to dry hard. So that means that if you have made a mistake or you don't like it, you just simply wet it and remove it. It's no big deal. It also means that if you like your design and it's on a single use surface, say wood, and you don't want to take that off, it's something that's going to be permanent because you've decided you want to sell crafts or what have you, um, or keep it for yourself. You just simply want to um, seal it with a Krylon sealer that you get from Home Depot or something. That's what I seal my stuff with, and it works beautifully. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Now, as you're applying your paste, it's not a soft stroke. It is a firm stroke that you're doing on this because you're essentially pushing this paste through that silk screen area and onto your board. So it's not a soft paint stroke. It's a little more firmer than that, and I usually hold my squeegee at about a 90 degree angle. So I'm just gonna lift this up here, and I'm gonna put this face down in my sink, throw some water on it, just so that paste does not dry on that silk screen area. You don't ever wanna clog your silk screen because then you won't be able to um, clean it as well, and your um, transfer won't work as well. So I always uh, typically rinse my transfers off and then I lay them up to the side until I get to clean them later. So now that I have got that on there, I am going to dry that really quick. Oh, forgot my blow dryer. Hold on, you guys. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, I'm back. Let me plug this in. See if I can remember to use the low setting because I have a tendency to flip it on high and everything goes everywhere. All right, so there we go. Hi, Angela. Thanks for joining us. So it doesn't take very long for this to dry. It just takes, you know, a couple of minutes, 15 minutes maybe if you're letting it dry on its own. I'm never that patient. So I always grab my blow dryer. You can certainly use a heat tool if you have one. Oh, thanks so much for sharing, Devonna. I really appreciate that. So I always typically use my blow dryer and speed up the process, especially if you're layering. And once you have it dried, you can move your hand across this. Thanks for sharing, Melanie. You can move your hand across this and it won't smear, it won't come off. So it's a little, it's a little different. It's a little more user friendly, I would say, than chalk is um, because you don't have to worry about your design smearing, which is something I love about these products. All right, so they are, it is really easy to use. I think I joined, I joined in January last year and um, 
shared a couple of designs on my page and everybody, you know, went crazy over them because they know that I can't paint to save my life. So they wanted to know what I was doing and I told them and I had a couple of girls join right away. Hey, Judy. And we started off with a team and now I've got a team over a hundred people. So it is, um, it's really user-friendly. It's really fun. We do share a lot on the pages. So if you are interested in starting your own business, just comment info in the comments and I'll send you some information on that and give you a link to my opportunity group so you can learn more. I'm just going to clean off my squeegees because I'm done with the white. Get this all cleaned up. All right, so like I said, these are a really soft silicone, but it has a tapered tip, so you can really drag across that, and I hold it at this angle. So if you're new to Chalk Couture and you're using your paste for the first time, this is the angle you wanna hold it. I kinda put my thumb down towards the tapered tip a little bit just to give me some stability, and then I just drag it across the transfer in a firm stroke. That's how I apply that paste on there. All right, so if you are on here tonight and you have used Chalk Couture before, throw me a one up there in the comments. I know several of you have. I'm gonna fuzz this next sheet right here this little bee and I'm gonna do these bees and I think I'm gonna do them in a in the yellows it is raining here so my feed might be lagging a little bit so just keep commenting and throwing up some hearts and some likes and some shares and if you're catching the replay if the live button is no longer up there just comment hashtag replay for me so that I know that you got a chance to watch the video Again, I am just adding a little bit of lint to the back of this. These are not hard to rip. The, um, some people have used stencils before, and they're, um, I never had great luck with stencils. So, um, Devana, are you serious, girl? We're going, I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get with you on a live, just one-on-one -on -one sharing a video. We're going to have to get you using your Chalk Couture stuff. All right. So, girl, you got me all flustered now. I can't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> all right. So, I am going to be very gentle as I am putting this back down here because I don't want to lift up that paste. So if you are using another design, you can certainly use your backer sheet and just kind of tuck it under there so that when you lay it down, that adhesive doesn't lay on top of this and pull that up. Once it's dry, it shouldn't, but sometimes on these surfaces, um, depending on what you're using, it can pull that up. So if it, if it has a tendency to do that, that is something that you can do. You can just add that in there and block that other part off. I've even put wax down so that, um, so that it doesn't lift off. So, and I just use a Johnson's paste wax. Now this is another part of a squeegee. When I get my squeegee, sometimes I'll just cut them up and um, into little pieces in case there's something small that I wanna do or get into a very detailed area and since this is just a little old honeybee, I'm gonna use this small squeegee real quick. Now I do have a lot of squeegees. I'm, that is something that I have a lot of because I do a lot of chalking and I don't wanna have to clean my squeegees in between. So just gonna put that bee on there. I'm gonna lay this back down here because I might use that bee again. To put on the what? Down here? I might be able to get a honeybee, like towards the Y, Deanna. 
I am a squeegee hoarder. It is awful. If you only knew how many squeegees I have. But you know my favorite one is the multi-tool. And that one, and I really don't have to cut up squeegees anymore. Like I said, I was back um, when I joined the company. They didn't have this size squeegee. It was a different size. It was more like this size. And, um, which is great, but, um... So we would cut them up into smaller ones. And then they came out with a multi-tool. And this one has a really small tip on it. So the letter N. Below it. Is that what you're talking about, De um, Devana? So, um, but now they've got that. And this is also curved on the side. So that when you put it in the jar, it gets underneath that lip. And you can really mix those paste up. Be on the letter and towards the frame like here I'm not, I don't think I know what you mean just keep explaining it dumb it down for me Devana dumb it down just keep explaining it until I get it girl like underneath it is that what you're saying or actually on the letter where it's facing down because that would be cute too All right, so I'm going to do this little beehive, too, because it's too cute not to use. I can't stand it. It's adorable. Where I pointed at. Okay. We'll try it. We'll see. We'll certainly give it a, a shot if I don't like it. Good thing about it is I could just wipe it off and do it all over again. Hey, Valerie, how are you? There's my newest team member. Y'all say hello. Valerie joined me this month. I'm so excited to have her on the team. All right. Either way, yeah, I think so. All right, let's see. All right, let's see if I can get it in the corner here. You guys, I'm so excited. Our convention is going to be in Dallas, Texas this year. And it is in June, and I just bought my ticket. And I cannot wait to go and meet some of my new team members. I'm hoping several of them will be able to come because I cannot wait to meet them. And I have not flown. It's been... It's been a while since I've been in the corporate world, so I, I have not flown in a while, so any tips y'all can give me, I would greatly appreciate so I don't get arrested by the TSA because I carried on some, you know, alcohol or something. Oh, yay, you got your kit. Nope, you don't have to wax this. You do not. The only thing you got to worry about waxing, really, is um, the pallet boards. Any type of wood you're going to use, you're going to want to wax that first. But on these reusable surfaces, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. How cute is that? Adorable. Do you, Valerie? You know, it's been a while. I um. I used to travel all the time because I worked for Select Medical. And um, I trained their front offices, and I was in charge of Texas and Louisiana and Florida, so I would fly all over the t um, place. You know, every weekend, I was flying out um, somewhere, but it's been a while since I flew. I mean, my son now is 15, and I think when I had my youngest son is when um, my husband opened his own business, and I stayed at home, so it's been a while. All right, I'm going to flip this over. Well, I'll just leave it here in case I... Well, I know I'm not going to use that again, but that's all right. Again, I'm just going to keep 
fuzzing these little cute bees as I put them on here. This is just a microfiber towel. I think I found it in the automotive section. So y'all can just really grab anything. You don't want to have anything that's got like two leaves the big lint balls on the back of it because that can get in the way of your um, silk screen. You just mainly want to use something that um, you can pick up a fine layer of lint on the back um, and then be able to lift that transfer up easily without stretching it. You know, I thought I might use the honeycomb, but I don't think I'm going to use that on here. I think I'm going to save that for another project. But I am going to just keep adding my little bees here. I'm going to do him kind of cattywampus. And I like the buttercream, I think. Oh, do they, Michelle? Oh, nice. I'll have to check that out. All right. I was not lucky enough to get one of the new Chocotour microfiber towels. Those are due back in stock mid-March. And I'm going to get a couple of those for um, my workshops. And I have a couple of events coming up that I would like to be able to uh, have a couple of towels for people to um, for me to sell them. But I was not fast enough. I had something going on that day and missed it. And when Chocotour has some has a sale going on it's like a fire sale over there and people are just stocking up it's the vendor season so people are um grabbing stuff for all their shows that they're doing i'm not gonna lie i love these bees and i seriously think it needs more what do you guys think? More bees? You can never go wrong with bees, right? What do you guys think? Do y'all like the bees? More bees? I'm just wiping these transfers down with a Lysol wipe as well. And because I'm going to reuse them on here, I'm not cleaning the back of them more, right? You can't go wrong with bees. Exactly. Everybody loves a honeybee. Well, unless you're allergic, I guess. All right, let's see. Yes, more. More bees, please. All right. Let's do this one. I don't know. Yep, I'm going to do this one here, maybe. I got to put one down here for Devonna. I'm going to put him right here. And then we're going to keep going from there. What do you think? Now, I saw this design done on our palette board. And they did this in the buttermilk um, color. And then they did it in our... That did not turn out. I did not press that down all the way. Look at that. Poor little bee. Let's take him off and redo that. what happens when you get to talking all right now I'm gonna draw that spot and redo it see how easy that is to fix a mistake easy peasy no worries I'm gonna dry it off with a paper towel and we'll just clean him off and do it again how about that all right Put my put me some more bees on here. I like him right there. That's perfect. I'm gonna do him again over here. And I'm gonna make sure I press that down. So that green adhesive adheres to that board so I don't have any bleed through underneath my transfer.
If you guys are liking my video and you're liking the design, please make sure you're sharing it with your friends and family. I really appreciate it. Okay. I need one right here too, I think. I just like the flying one. He's so cute. I've got to do him right there. All right. Let me smooth out those lines. And all I'm doing is pushing that chalk paste through that um, silk screen area. And then I'm squeegeeing off the excess, smoothing out the lines, and putting it back in my jar so I can use it later. You don't want to waste any. This lasts a really long time, as long as you take care of your stuff, right? And you don't want to waste any of your, any of your chalk paste. Some of these jars will last you well over six, eight months. I would say it's not like um, acrylic paint that dries up. If this starts to get stiff on you, you just simply add a little bit of distilled water. I have a little spray bottle right here that I add to my chalk paste, and then I just stir it up. It should be the consistency of like cake batter or yogurt. And I just add water to it, stir it up, and keep going so that you're able to use this all the way down to the bottom so you don't waste a drop. All right, let me dry this off. And I think I'm going to add one underneath the end if I can get it to work right. Oh, that would have been a good idea, Angela very good idea yes to do honey and gold yeah that would be pretty we could still do that I could take that honey off that's in white and just redo it nothing's permanent I can change it up how I want to All right, I'm gonna do this kind of like he's flying under the end here. Overlap it a little. There we go. Gotcha. Well, now I can't redo it in the yellow, <laughs> in the yellow if I'm gonna overlap it, huh? But we're going to try it on top of this white and see. You see how when you scrape that off, it leaves those little bitty lines there? I just go back lightly and smooth those out. So those lines don't transfer below that silk screen area. There we go. How cute is that, you guys? So cute. Here, can you guys see it? I'll bring it closer. So, so cute. And I don't like him. So I'm going to redo him too. We're just going to change him up. Easy peasy. Isn't it cute? I love it. All right, let me change this or clean this off real quick. So you can really just keep mess messing with this. Hi, Trish. Until you get it exactly how you want it. If you don't like it, just be patient. Go slow. Wipe it off. Dry your board. And redo it all over again. It's really easy. There are no mistakes. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that is cute. I'll have to do that maybe on another project, Angela. I think that would be really cute. You know what that would be cute on is the um, honeycomb. And um, on this transfer, in the honey pot, 
and the honeycomb. I can do that. So we'll do that on another live, and then I'll do the um, ombre effect and bring that down and add that. So make sure you tune in for that. I'll post it like I did before, let you know the day before I'm going live or that morning of. And then I'll post it again um, shortly before I go live so everybody has an opportunity to check it out. I do think ombre would be really cute, especially on the honeycomb. All right, now I'm going to do that again. If you guys have any suggestions or comments or you'd like to see something from the new catalog and you want me to chalk it, just put it in the comments, just like Angela, and I'll make sure that I um, add that to what I'm going to do. Plus, it helps give me ideas as well, which I totally appreciate. We don't want the well to run dry for ideas, although it hasn't yet, and it's been a year, so I think I'm pretty good, but still, I always love doing something you guys want to see. That's for sure. All right, what do you guys think? Is that good? Well, Angela, I can help you out with that girl. You need to message me. Let's talk about your plan. I would love for you to join. I'd love to help you. I think Linda is on here. Linda's on my team. Michelle's on my team. Uh, let's see, Valerie's on here, she's on my team, and these are some great girls, and we all have a team page, and we help each other out, and we share ideas, and we have some training on there, so if you decide to join, you won't be left, that's for sure. Everything, please. Yeah, right? Do it all. All right, you guys, so let's see how this looks on this pillar. Let me grab the stand here. Now, here's the funny thing. What did I do with the pen that goes inside it? There we go. So, here's an afterthought, and I just happened to get this right. I should have thought about this beforehand. So, like I said at the beginning of the live, this pillar has a hole here. That's for this pen to go into. On the back of this board, there are there is a hole here and a hole here. So you want to be able to line that hole up so you can put this pen in, right? So you want to make sure, and I just happened to get it correct. I should have paid better attention, and I didn't, but I just got lucky. Um, you don't want to do it like this and have your pen in the wrong spot. So you want to make sure that this is the bottom and this is the bottom for your designs. Right? Listen to Linda, Angela. Join, join, join. We'd love to have you. All right, so I am going to flip this over. Try to line it up so that you guys can see. I really should put on my glasses. All right, there we go. And you're just going to put this pin in. And then it holds your board for your pillar. It's really, really cute. It's kind of an antique rustic um, white pillar stand. It's adorable. All right, you guys, so what do you think? Am I done with this one? Should I add anything to it? I like it, like it, like it. I'm just gonna clean this up as we're talking. So do you guys have any comments? Did you love the design? Give me some hearts or some thumbs up if you love it. As I'm cleaning up. Fantastic. All right, you guys, I'm gonna post a picture of this on my um, mantle so you guys can see it. I will be coming live again soon. Remember, if you're in the Jacksonville area, I do have a workshop tomorrow. There's still time for you to come. Thanks, Devonna. There is still time for you to join us in the workshop and come and make some cute designs with us. I'm gonna have all of my surfaces that I have on hand there and all of my transfers. 
um, so you can come and um, join if you'd like. If you would like to be a member of my VIP group and take advantage of my um, bundles, then just comment bundle or um, VIP in the comments and I will get you that um, link to join my VIP group. And if you are interested in starting your own business with Chalk Couture and being able to do lives and you enjoy sharing with others or selling your crafts, then just comment info in comments and I will be glad to send you the link to my opportunity group and we can chat and get you started on a program to get you started. All right, you guys, I hope you had fun. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, share with your friends, and I will be on live again soon, so make sure you turn your notifications on so that you get notified every time I go live. All right, I will talk to you later. Have a great evening.